Shut up. All I need is to demonstrate the problem. All right, and it's there, you can see. <sighs> fantastic, fantastic. So although nobody is here, I don't think. I don't think anyone is here. That's fine. Um, we are here today. This video will be uploaded to YouTube. Uh, it will be my attempt to fix my Oculus Rift. I got this dang thing in the summer of 2017. Uh, I put maybe a grand total of 10 hours on it. Um, throughout 2018, it was in storage for a very long time. And y'all can see quite clearly, at least on the, on the good camera, what the problem is. The problem is that the left eye does not display anything. It doesn't display at all. The right eye does, left one doesn't. If I were to take off my glasses, and I'm actually surprised it's outputting despite nothing on the proximity sensor. But yeah, oh cool, I can see my desktop, that's neat. But only through the right lens I can see my stream. Oh, I'm watch myself put my thing on. <laughs> God, I'm greasy. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we are going to attempt to fix this. Um, if anyone does hop in, please let me know how my audio is, how the video is. On my end, it looks good. I have a webcam set up here to kind of show the process as it's getting done. I am using the brand new EOS RP, and the webcam is trying to focus. Of course it is. Let's fix that. Let's let's fix that, because that's not acceptable. We're using the EOS RP to capture me, so that is lovely. Uh, I need to... Logitech. So basically... I've been tr I wanted to get this started way sooner. I was hoping like 8 p.m. Eastern to be like starting and on a roll with this. Alas, it didn't quite work out that way. Um, and that's because... Troubleshooting, man. I was trying to get the stream going on my laptop. And I'm streaming from Dragon right now, which is my old PC that you all might remember with the i5-3570K. As you can see, I have it all set up here in my dining room just so I have lots of room to work with. And... I heard, I was doing research, I was going to buy a program to stream with, uh, through my, uh, good camera. However, I learned I didn't need to. There's, yeah, EOS, EOS webcam software beta. And I couldn't download it because they're presently suffering a, a ransomware attack. So, good luck, Canon, on dealing with that. I really hope you don't have to pay the ransom because, um, fuck people who do that kind of shit. Um, freaking scumbags. Anyway, I, after dealing with my capture card and trying to do it that way, it, this, this laptop kept blue screening because maybe it's just its age or maybe it's my capture card. And so I attempted to put it on the, that PC and it wasn't working. And then I was like, Ugh, there's got to be an alternate mirror for this download. And there was. CNET had it. So I installed the program and now everything looks to be working fantastically. I have a dummy battery and uh, AC power source in that camera now. So... It's pretty great, uh, infinite power, which I, I thought I'd have to pay the Canon price, which was 130 bucks, ended up paying 26 so that's great, works fantastically. Uh, I, of course, have a drink that risks spilling everywhere, because it wouldn't be a Cantagian-type stream if I didn't serve napkins when I talked, and if there weren't risk of, like, completely spilling and destroying everything, which I have to say, I'm just gonna warm up here and keep talking, <laughs> I am a little bit surprised that that's never happened on any of my streams. I am a klutz, and I would have thought that by now, I'd have spilled stuff multiple times. Multiple times. I was just complaining to someone about, uh... <sighs> masks and not wearing them. Anyway, so, prognosis, I think, is poor. I don't see myself figuring out what's wrong with this. I'm guessing that the time it spent in storage late 2018 in the cold probably screwed something up, although it should not have, but we'll see. Um, and I can unplug it now because I only had it plugged in to demonstrate what was wrong. Now, there was an Aussie dude on YouTube who had a series of videos taking this thing apart, so I'm going to go by what he does. Um, I had to get special tools to do it. This is a lovely uh, Torx bit kit that I got. I think I got it off Newegg, but really nice. It was sold by a third-party seller. Um, kind of, it doesn't really show up that well on the webcam. I have the webcam uh, the brightness up a little because of how dark this is. 
But yeah, it's a it's a great kit. I'm gonna do this. This can handle it. Kaisi. Um, it came with its own little guitar pick shaped spudgers over here. I have a spudgers as well. I bought a set of these. They're kind of goofy though. Really thick. They appear to be three D printed, but they should be able. They should be useful for something. And although I'm not a dentist, I have dentist picks to get at and under things on the Oculus. So I do believe I have every tool necessary. I also had to buy extra Torx bits because the Oculus uses security bits. There's a little hole. Let's see, yeah, it focuses. I love this camera so much. As you can see there's a hole at the end of the bits. Um, and yeah, uh, Facebook really didn't want you messing with this thing. That said, we're going to mess with this thing. Feel free to chat me up if anyone joins. I talk to everyone. And uh, we'll begin this right now. Um, I'm going to find that video on the tubes. And we'll get started. Almost 10 minutes in and we haven't opened up a tool yet. Uh, after the Oculus is done being dunned, I might repaste my GTX 1080. I bought some good thermal paste too. Temps on it were getting kind of high for no re no apparent reason. Oculus Rift disassembly. There's a disassembly guide. Someone has searched that. This guy, I believe. Let's see if I hear an Aussie. Hey, no Aussie. Oh, did I mute my headphone? Oculus. My Oculus Rift. Yep, that's the guy. All right, his is the same. Okay. This can be disassembled here. These, actually, I should have had a flathead screwdriver with me. Uh, but I do, not too far from here, so give me one second. Just pause this damn video here. Boop. I said boop. What the hell? Left click on that mouse is jank. We are always prepared. Prepared. And the motion seems to be a little weird on this. I don't know why. I didn't screw with it too much. I was just happy to get it working. I imagine some troubleshooting will uh, resolve any such problems. And the software is beta. So basically what I'm doing here is unscrewing the headphones. Um, they're screwed in by these little plastic flathead screws. And I shouldn't have to go too crazy with this. Of course, this bit is way too small. Yep. Came out just like that. One headphone. Perfect. And we'll do the other one. Um, these are a decent quality, but as you, as you see, they can be very easily removed if you wanted to use higher quality headphones. I never got a chance to use my awesome headphones with this Oculus, which would have been nice. Um, oh, there is another thing I wanted to do. Hello, second viewer. I need to get containers for all of the tiny, tiny bits that are going to be on this thing. So let me grab some stuff for that. I don't mind these minor oversights. This is going to be up on YouTube, Wiley. I'm going to upload everything except for the little bit where I was troubleshooting. Let me know, is the audio in sync? Is the video good? I wanna know, because I've troubleshot a ton and went through a bunch of trouble getting this all going. It was a pain in the rump. Pain in the rump. So I got three little things here to put screws in. Um, yeah, I think. We are set. I believe the thing uses a T7 Torx. I did loosen one of these a long time ago, but I don't recall which one. Audio is not in sync. The audio is Contagion, but yes, everything is closer. Kosher. What, what do you mean? Is the audio syncing properly? I don't need a joke when you're trying to technical support me, man. Is it good or is it not? You said it's kosher, but you said it's not in sync, but you said in sync, so are you making a joke or what? Okay, great, thanks. <laughs> After having done so much troubleshooting, I'm just like a little short on patience at the moment. So I believe... Oh, what the hell am I doing? Wait, 
how this work? How this work? What what I do? Give me a second to remember. I've used this all at one time ever. Oh, it comes with these really tiny screwdrivers as well. How do I do this? Um. Oh. I hope no. I've done this. So. <laughs> Be. Just deal with me for a moment while I flail around like a fool trying to figure out how my tools work. No, can't. No, can't. Um. Eh. There was a way to make this fit. Um. I think this is actually just an extension, yeah. Cool. But. That does me no good if I can't get this damn Torx bit on here. They would be a different damn size. Um, but I've loosened... Oh, you know what? Maybe I didn't even use this to do it. One step at a time. Glad your heartburn's gone. Did you, uh, take the meds? Alright, so we've already removed the headphones. And this guy's just talking a lot. I'm going by a guide that some Aussie dude did on the tubes. Yeah, he's about to... Oh, yeah. The felt. Duh. So we can... Ah, oh, damn it. I did not mean to go full screen. Cool. We can remove the felt here. Now, I have done basic troubleshooting with this before. I tested the plug-in connection, all the other stuff. Look at the focus as it focuses off of me and onto this. So cool. Love it. Freaking love my camera. Oh, so good. All right. It's like a diving mask type thing. Um, oh yeah, unplug the, the cable, that would be a good idea. Get that out of there. I could probably even feed it through here, maybe, I don't know, it doesn't look like it wants to. But it's unplugged. And I bet this will fit in here, if nothing else, but I would need an extension. Yeah, lame. Okay. Oh. Okay, wait, he removed it completely. There was a clip of some sort that... Oh, this is the clip. Okay, I got it. Cool. Just unclip it here. Like so. Let's not damage anything. Got it. And this is gone. Alright, we're making progress. No meds. Just get to let it go naturally. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, now we are getting somewhere. And one of the reasons I'm, like, so into doing this right now, I mean, I've had the tools for it for almost half, for more than half a year, I think, but friggin' the new flight simulator's coming out next week, and I want to be able to do VR when it's supported in that damn flight simulator, if possible, if we fix this, which I don't think we will. Ugh. T3 Torx. Okay, so... T3... T3. Oh, okay, okay. I wonder what the security Torx bits were for then. Maybe they were for something else. Maybe I just misheard this guy. Eh. Let me make sure. I'm going to rewind a bit. Yeah, Terminator 3 is not very good. Not, not, not the best Terminator, if I do say so myself. I don't think anyone else will be joining us, but that's fine. Yeah, the wall. Yeah. Cool. Some of the tools that you may need. Perfect. So first of all, you may need a. This is a T3 Torx. Yes, T3. Um, all right, get on with it. Driver. I appreciate you, but you're slow. I guess not. Now you probably want a good quality one. Well, a reasonable one because. Maybe I don't need the extender. Spudger kit. Spudger. Spudger. Alright. You actually think T3 is the worst Terminator, although you have to stare at fate. I haven't seen any other Terminators. I think we can remove this. Alright. Okay, the Torx screws, we start at the bottom here. So, at the bottom... 
underneath here, we got one on each side of the lens. So these are tiny too. There's no way I could even show them well to you. The fact that this guy was able to in his guide is pretty good. So, yep, this is working like a charm. Now, oh, it's magnetized. Thank God. Got my lovely little glass jars for the stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm, it, despite the troubleshooting, I'm really glad this came together like it did. Um, am I seeing two on each side? Yes, I am. Because the end result seems to be worth it, even if I don't fix this thing. Oh, wait. Maybe that is just one. I, it's so... Oh, no, that's two. It's tough to get in there. Am I even... Um, alright, alright. Just take it easy. We got this. But yeah, the end result, I can use my Canon EOS RP as a friggin' webcam. But this is also why I want... I mean, it's there's no depth of field on this because I have a wall right behind me. And I have the exposure compensation turned up, so the wall is just friggin' blown out. But I'll be able to do some really nice stuff with it. Um... Yeah, I, I think that's supposed to come out, too. Um, talk about a tight fit. Yep. Actually, I'm not so sure. I think I might be damaging something. And if I break it, I break it. Let's see what he does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There are two at the top as well. So, like I said, I'm not an expert at this. I'm going by what some other guy on the interwebs says. Because he had he did get his fully disassembled, so there's that. Anyway, we've got two more here on the top. So we had two on the bottom, two on the top. I'll work on getting those top ones now. Oculus Series C looks like night vision goggles. Yeah, too bad it's not... I, I have to say, my experience with this Oculus has been ultra freaking poor. Facebook and the support team have just been terrible. Um, I'm just really saddened because this should be nothing but awesome, but it's been crap. Like, there was an outage in service. And they awarded everyone $15 with which to, you know, go towards a purchase of a game. And I was looking at games towards the expiry. You know, the fact that it expired at all. Let's see if I can get a focus. Now, this lens has macro capabilities, so I might be able to. But look at how tiny this damn thing is. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Focus. Focus right here. Right here. It's I've got it on eye tracking, so i got to get my eyes out of the picture. Yeah. It's so tiny. But, oh! Fucking love it. Anyway. So, like, the money that they awarded everyone for the inconvenience of their service not working for a while had an expiration date. And so, close to the expiration date, I was like, shit, I gotta spend this. And I tried to. And their damn service would not allow me to. And so it expired. So, I mean, that's not a big deal. $15. But, like, it was something that they supposedly gave everyone. But then, of course, they had to... Just have a stipulation to it, and... Alright. <sighs> and then, of course, this thing goes out, and they're like, Ah, screw you. We'll sell you an, a refurb at a very, very slight discount. Like, nah, bro. No thanks. So that one can break, too. You'll sell me that. Alright. Yeah, these are all, like, real short four-minute videos. I don't know why this guy did it this way. Part two. This one's five minutes. Come on. Okay, so take the screws out. Take the screws out. Alright, let's just... Yep. Alright, so there are four in the bottom, and I was on the right path. Um, those two on the inside are really hard to get at. I'm wondering if that extender might help. Um, I'm not sure, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. No disassemble. Why chat? No scroll. No scroll chat. No scroll. Um, is the audio level good? Is my voice loud and clear? Oh my goodness, yeah, getting in there is something else. So basically, I've already done a little bit of damage to it. Uh, if you look at the webcam here, 
there's outside screws and then there's like these ones in the middle on the inside and that is what I'm having a bit of trouble with. So we're gonna keep trying though because we've got literally nothing to lose. But that is where the trouble lies. What a pain in the ass. But I have had a few memorable experiences um, with the Oculus. Um, playing uh, Project Cars on it was really cool because I just remember like coming home from work, I was a little tired, but I was like, I want to do some VR. And loaded up Project Cars. I was in some fancy race car. And I just looked, it's not too loud, but adequate enough to your clear. All right, beautiful, thank you. And I remember riding around the track, I think it was Laguna Seca, and I looked to my left, and since you're in this race car, it's just like a frame. Okay, I think I, I've got it now. I looked to my left while I was turning left, and I saw the road below me, and it was just so immersive. I was like, oh, shit. That was a moment that clearly impacted me because I hadn't forgotten it. Um, honestly, I'm having trouble seeing all this light and I still don't know what's up. Lucky's tail was actually also a really amazing experience. Um, simply because I didn't realize, like I thought like a platformer on VR, that sounds ridiculous. It's coming out, it's just being slow about it. But it was really fun, and I had a blast with it. Okay, well, that's okay. As long as it sounds good. I, I mean, the levels show well on mine, but I'm a little bit farther from the mic than I would prefer to be. It's not coming out. Um, yeah, Aussie Dude did say these are a pain in the ass. Come on, bitch. Let me try the other one. Oh, I'm just f glad to finally be doing this. I've been wanting to try this for ages. Last year, I brought it over to Dad's, because Dad usually has all the tools. <laughs> and I didn't have these particular tools, and turns out he didn't either. <sighs> kind of funny. It's new Super Lucky Tail. Yeah, that one's not VR, though. And... I don't know. I, I'm the, it was cool, but I'm outside of VR. I'm not interested in it. I wish they'd have just made another VR game. God, I see what this guy's saying though. It's I cannot get these to come out. He, uh, man, I, I wish I could extend it, like, but without widening it. What? What did this do? I think it poses the same problem, though. Maybe. Maybe. It's a little less wide. Um, Kent, what are you doing? God damn it, Kent. Oh, does this not go in here? No, it does. Dad not having tools like to help us. He has them now. He has them now. <laughs> Yeah, I was surprised. He had Torx bits, but not ones this friggin' tiny. Um, what did I just hear? I just heard that fucking thing fall out. Oh, oh, got it. Cool. That was a dangerous way to go about doing that. If I do say so myself. All right. Good. One's out. That means one more. Now, actually. I think this is going to be helpful. I also bought a new chainsaw. I was going to go like all out and get a really good one. Like a really high end one. But I'm not cutting down any like big ass trees. So I didn't. I got a basic one. It's a Husqvarna so it should be pretty good. They're a well known brand. Um... And for the work I'm doing, I think it will suit me. I have a giant bush in my front yard to cut down. Should have got 
Mm, the one you could have affixed to your arm. No, I'm not badass enough for that. Bruce Campbell would have just laughed at me. He called me a poser. Um, but yeah, I have this bush in my front yard that grows like nobody's business. And I was trimming it a while back, a few weeks back before I went to my on my trip. And that's when the hornets attacked me. Because there's a damn hornet's nest inside it. Suffice it to say they've been genocided, but... Not anymore. I don't need any more threats like that. Who knows what else lives in there right now. I'm a little worried and scared, but if I have a chainsaw, I'll just cut through anything that tries to kill me, unless it's tiny like hornets. I think if a snake comes out, or a bear... It'd be a pretty small bear, but bears are bears, man. I don't know why I didn't think to try and pull this apart before. I don't know if I'm doing anything. Oh, he was not kidding. Oh, that definitely is a security Torx bit. Well, that said... Shit. These only go up to T7. So... What was I thinking? Hold on, I'm confused. These are regular Torx bits, right? T3 Torx, yeah. What was I doing that required a security Torx? I'm losing my damn mind. I'll tell you what. Uh, uh. Um, it's in there. It is in there. Um, gotta keep trying, though. Oh. <sighs> Got to keep it on. Keep on keeping on. Going at it with, like, different angles. I'm just not getting any feedback either. Like, I cannot tell if I'm making progress or what. Or if it's just turning and not loosening. I'm putting a lot of pressure on it. Oh, I'm not going to be defeated at this early ass step. Like, I don't even know if I'm getting into it. This is T3. The other one had it fell out with a little bit of a persuasion. And I'm making little dents in here, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Oh, maybe that's it right there. I gotta get at it at that angle. Oh wait, that felt like something. Having a wonderful time. Cannot tell, cannot tell! I feel so- oh, I think I got it this time. maybe yeah cool all right so still needs a little bit more but definitely got it this time cool 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 I can see it turning now part of me kind of wants to half-assedly put this thing back together if I fix it cuz got it fuck yeah one down all right let's continue with mr. Aussie dude Take a drink. One, two, three, four, five, six. He has six as well. He takes his time. Yeah. Yep, we got those. He filed it down to get to it. One, two, three, four. Yep. He had to file his bit. Ah, this is where the spudger comes into play. Or the dental tools. Because we have to unclip. 
So, fortunately, I have a few tools for this. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. There's more than meets the eye. There's a little bit of a depth to this spudger, as you can see. Okay, I see what he's doing here. Um, where's my other one? All right, I also have this one. So he's basically... Oh, careful, Kent. Okay. Okay, so there are clips around the lenses that you can supposedly feel. And he's going up at it, so... Well, I guess I feel it. Okay, wow, this is something else. I'm not feeling the clips he's talking about. Oh, maybe that's it. Okay. So getting underneath it with this tool is actually quite easy. Um, if I get close to the webcam, I, I, it pokes right through this fabric. Um, so I just got to see if I'm doing the right thing here. Um, I'm just watching this guy. Sorry for the lack of talking here, but this is... Feels like... I don't feel clips, to be honest. Sounded so New Yorker. Oh, wow. He's just gonna go to video three in the midst of this. He must have, like, a time limit. Because this one's nine... I think I. Hmm. This is gonna make for some boring YouTube. <laughs> the clips he's talking about. Okay, so they're positioned on the top left, top right, and the bottom center. So this is what I have to work on trying to just... But I feel like I'm, I'm working blind. Um... Eat careful. So he's got all sorts of clips that he's done, but he didn't really show it being done on the camera. It's not intuitive, I'll tell you that much. Um, I wish there was like something that there's just not an established technique for. feel like I'm going to end up tearing this fabric. Um, let's just rewind a bit. Sorry. Three of 
fabric around the lens. So there's one on the bottom here. Bottom, like center. Pick a corner, and there's one on the outside. So first of all, you need to... I've already unclipped it. Just between the ends around. Boy, they... You can tell this is not my type of work. Alright, I should be able to. Alright, I'm able to. Ooh, I just jammed this sucker in here. <laughs> Whoops. You can see it's uh, a little bit jammed in there, but. <sighs> but I have unclipped this part, this bottom part here, which is fine, except it popped right back in. And this is why this plastic spudger is nice, because the risk of. There we go. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. So I'm going to hold this up and work on the other side without damaging the ever-loving crap out of this. Okay. All right. What we've got here is a... But we still haven't unclipped the area around the eyes. Okay. I just want to keep this loose. Maybe if I jam this in here, like so. <sighs> now maybe I can get at the hooks in here. Yeah, I feel them, but I don't understand. I'm not really grasping how. Oh, well. He's still working at that, though. Need to get this out from under here because on his he's pulling this front part off this part here um but he has detached the cloth from the eye sockets which i have not yet done that's proving quite challenging to be honest i don't i still not grasping how it is attached because he said there's hooks but like Got two different kinds of spudgers. I'm just going at it, but I don't know that I'm accomplishing anything. Rather, I know that I'm not. Maybe I have to, like, go up. I think I need to rewind the video again. Damn it. Did not mean to full screen it. Windows 10, sometimes you suck. Just because I drag something towards the top of the screen does not mean it needs to be full screen. Yeah, he... Having fun yet? Ah, I'm gonna scratch these fuckers up. Maybe I should go back to the previous video and look at how he was going at 
trying to unclip the fucking fabric piece. Mind my French, because it's just not super clear. Yeah, he's going in there with a, what looks to be a screwdriver. Just Oh, maybe I have to just... Okay. Alright, so. I think I have to pull on the bottom of the lens with, like, an outward motion to, like, loosen it. To, like, get under it. All of my prodding is starting to make a lot of marks on this fabric, but whatever, it's broken anyway. Alright, so I'm trying. I'm trying to get under it. And he was... Let me make sure I'm doing this right again. Yeah, because... It's tough to see what we're doing. Although I wonder if I could shine a light through it since it's woven so thinly. I'm going to grab my flashlight. BRB. Real quick. Okay, so thinking um, that I can stretch the fabric maybe and see the clips through it stretched. Um, not really. Negative on that one. Alright, let's keep trying then. I'm going to keep trying to poke at and under this thing until maybe I get something. I don't feel any sort of clip. Wait, is that it? Oh, I poked a nice big old hole in this now. Uh Darn it. Maybe I could try for one of the side ones. Maybe the spudger would be better for this. Okay, I think... I'm thinking I got it. I, well, I say that, but... I'm making a lot of noise. There's that much... Unreal. Don't take it off screen. He's trying to like feel it. Yeah, okay, it's like up against here, but I don't see how you could get underneath it. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> oh, maybe I just did. I don't know. And it's also pushing these, which I don't... I'm going to break it in like another way. That's just how this is going to go. Have I made a difference? Is it... No. Guess I just gotta keep trying to pr prod at it till I get somewhere. God, I feel sorry for the people who actually have to work on these. You know what I could also do is go to one of his further along videos to see if maybe he posts a picture of... Alright, he's got some Phillips screws in there, but he's not really showing off the clips all that well. Stop turning it! I think I understand. No. A 
Okay, wait. Yeah, I've got no clue how these clips work. It doesn't look like we're trying to move the clips so much as untuck. Maybe I should look at a different source. Um, yeah, because I, I definitely feel it now that I see it there. But I don't know what to do with what I feel. I suck at this type of work, I really do. Right, so it's up against, try to poke through the hole I already made. Feels like it's just stuck to the lens itself, but I know that's not the case. Use the spudger for this. And try not to scratch the glass up. Hmm. Pain in the ass. get a look at it at least um oh I see getting a little rough here but I don't care is that one of them what am I supposed to do with that all right so I know you can't see this really well but I'm pulling this I'm, I'm getting kind of my father's words are, are echoing through my mind right now. Never force anything, but at the same time, when you're not making any progress... What is this? Is this the thing? I'm not seeing how it works. How does it work? What does it do? Even my tiny tool is not helping me. Kind of makes you wonder if you should never force anything. They don't, because that's not real. I have all this light shining on me, but I'm not. No light behind me. There's thus, I can't see. This ain't shit. I'm picking at nothing. Alright, well, that elucidates that. I'm going to attempt to find another source. Maybe someone has done it better. It's been a while, so... Let's rift disassembly guide. And let's push this over to the side so we're not losing our precious T3 screws. Tear down review, don't care. Don't do it. It is kind of uh, incredible that it appears only one guy has done this. All right, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Oculus Rift CV1 Disassemble. It's gonna show me fucking YouTube videos. I don't care. Oh, I fix it. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. What? Okay, whoa, whoa. Step five, step... Four is. They do this all out of order. Okay, alright. So they're unplugging everything. They're unplugging the headphones. 
Stretchy black lycra surrounds the lenses, covering a thin plastic frame. This dustproof fabric cleverly protects the Oculus. Oc, really can't Oculus. The Oculus's innards, while still allowing the adjustable lenses some freedom to move. Frame contains blah blah. blah. How do you remove it? We momentarily stumped until our Teradon engineer finds the hidden interior clips to secure the frame. After a few well placed flicks of the spudger, it's free. What? You don't explain very well what the fuck you're talking about. Well, well placed flicks of the spudger. Thanks. Thanks for that. I guess I'll just keep flicking it. Ugh. I haven't removed shit. Shit ain't been removed. I have well placed flicks of the spudger. I'm spudging. I'm flicking. Mmm. Man, that sucks. Just like. We're gonna tell you what we did in the, in the vaguest terms possible. Well placed flicks of the spudger. I just keep blindly going at it till I get it, I guess. Never did I think I would have to go at this piece of electronics in such a manner. Let's see if there's an even better guide. Info. There's an I. Nope. Man, that sucks. I fix it. You guys need to step your damn game up. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Oculus Drift Teardown reveals easy to fix headset. Fuck that. Alright, wait. Maybe if I go back to iFixit, they'll have a freaking video explaining this a little better. I am not a teardown engineer. Phillips, T3 Torx. I fix it opening tools. <laughs> Is there not like a. Alright, there is a video. Shut up, woman. Shut your face, woman. You ain't you screwing around on. Get to that. Damn. What is this? This isn't an Oculus. This is a freaking. It's just stills. Oh, never mind. Wait, wait, wait. I just went past the part I needed to see. It's this girl talking again. I don't need to see you. Get off my screen forever. Oh my god. This is the worst video ever. They're just... Oh, they suck so hard. Alright, hold on. That's actually a good still. So, I'm starting to see now. I can show the webcam, maybe. Now I'll show the camera because it's going to get it better. What you're looking at are the clips. So I think I am still trying to get under them to pull them outward. That helps. And let's try a different tool. Let's try this little guy. I am, I'm not sure how effective he'll be, but in fact, uh, it feels like he sucks. Yeah. Yeah. This should work too, though. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to do more than flick here. I'm trying to... Oh, my goodness. 
I'm not feeling that particular shape anywhere. Maybe mine's different. Ooh wee, a step sucks. Yeah, I move these lenses as far apart as they can go. I haven't even gotten one of these off yet. Uh, feels like it's working. Don't look like it though. I, I think it's because they're like up against this thing. I have dropped zero frames. That is good. Well placed flicks of a sputter. Oh my, this is the worst. Literal worst. Oh my god. If I could just get one, I might get a feel for the rest of them, you know? This liker is getting torn up. Oh my god. Let me look at that thing again. So, this whole thing has to be affixed to the sides of this. I'm just feeling around trying to. Oh, that's not that, but... It looks like it's so obvious on there, but I'm not seeing it. it feels like a, a rib that goes almost all the way down it. think let's push them together again I want to try for I gotta keep trying different spots till I get something to work hoo wee what an ordeal you know I was kind of thinking the disassembly was gonna go a little more quickly I forgot just how awful it was gonna be. I didn't realize how bad this part here is. Ooh. Alright, well, I'm in there now. <clears throat> I'm tearing it. At least this stuff is able to take some abuse. Alright, I'm going to go back to Mr. Carlos's video here and just try and see the method he's using. He's doing the same thing I'm doing. He's just poking at it. Maybe I should actually, like, listen to him. He takes a while, though. Okay, so the first thing he did was actually to pull this out a little bit. You can sort of feel through the fabric and there's a clip of this velcro this part. I can't feel it. With this fabric. I feel velcro. something here, I guess that's it. 
this um, fabric, stretchy fabric. So around the lenses, must be very, very careful. I actually unclip. Oh. I just want to unclip oh. This Okay, maybe I can do it from the top. He's not, but he, he poked at it from the top. <sighs> Careful, Kent. It'd be nice to have this thing kind of working at the end of all this. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. <clears throat> Wait, did I? Nope. It's still securely attached. Most boring stream ever. <sighs> this might be too thick. Did I? Did I? Did I? No. I didn't do shit. And that is the end of the video. Is ASMR to whom? ASMR to streams. Ugh. Did I unclip one of them? I don't think I did, but I'm trying to see if maybe I succeeded somewhere. No. Part of me just wants to rip this fucking shit out. Uh, what a waste. I don't see a damn clip anywhere. Like... I'm under here now. This isn't a clip though, unless it's just... <coughs> oh, I got it, I got it, all right, great. Wow, I'm glad I was kind of being forcible. But let's see if I can't get this to show in the in the camera. Um, it's too dark. Um, it's right in there. Um, da, 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 da. Anyway, you'll see. The clips do show when you pull this off. But it's... Uh, I got it now. That was one hell of a... I was getting a little worried there, but now that I've got it on one side, getting it on the other will be rather easy. Bear with me. Not exactly, you know, poking through the lycra might not have been the best way to go about doing this. <sighs> Definitely made, put together in such a way to be difficult to work with, that's for fucking sure. All right, all right, all right. Um, God, I should have paid closer attention to what I was doing a minute ago. Okay, all right. Well, 
If I get out of this with a fucking working Oculus, it'll all be worthwhile. There is no way I could have gotten under this any other way. <sighs> Let me take a look at the other one. Yeah, alright, trying to get under that piece. It does not want to, though. Glad I have these dental tools. Be more light. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, I might just try and turn on the overhead light. I've got, I just need kind of some backlighting. Come on, you bitch. Alright, I need to do what I did before and stuff my spoiler in here so that it doesn't want to fall back in. There, so it kind of holds itself out. I have the spudger stuck in there. It's helping a little less than I thought it would, but it's helping nevertheless. Christ. I kind of wish I remember better that moment where I got this thing to pop loose. I don't remember exactly what I did. Or which tool I was using. Wait, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it? No. Still securely hooked on. It's like affixed to it. Like, I don't know how I got this to pop up. Oh, I'm gonna hurt myself. How did I do it? I'm scratching it, but I don't care. Go on par with Johnny Cash. I don't understand. Oh, I think I might get it this time. Uh, wow. I mean, I'm using a friggin' metal tool, so that's not helping. I hate work like this. I can see heavy scratches where I'm trying to get at this stupid thing. Can I push it in? <clears throat> and I have like a couple more of these to go on each side. Okay, wait. I don't see why I shouldn't be able to get under here. This is goofy. I look goofy. <clears throat> Fuck, I wish I had a third hand. So, it wants to come out. I just need something razor goddamn thin. 
Oh. Did I get it? I got it. Oh. Good God. Did I break it? Yeah, I didn't got it. I broke it. Fucking broke the damn piece of shit. No, I didn't. It's still on there. It's not broken. Oh my god. Alright, I need something really thin. I think I have a even thinner tool than this. So, BRB for a second. Every job has a tool, and I think I have the tool for this job. Innovative idea, but you can put the flashlight on top of your head. Actually, now that you mention it... I don't know why this did not cross my mind sooner. <sighs> it doesn't even mess with the video that much. Alright, so, this one is really really tiny as you guys can see so with my newly adjusted light source let's see if i can't get some shit done for real this time <sighs> take a scarf place it over the flashlight mm, nah mine's better all right now i'm going to get the plaque out of your fucking teeth and by that, I mean I'm going to... Oh, I just bent the tool. Oh, no. <laughs> That's how unrelenting this piece of shit is. I can't get under the hook. At least I can see what I'm doing now. Be careful. I really thought this was going to allow me to get under the stupid... Oh, oh, oh! Got it. All right. So, we can see that the bottom portion is starting to come out. There's a whole lot more where that came from, though. But now that I've done a couple of these, I think maybe I'll have a little bit more luck. However, we're now dealing with a different side of this thing. And I don't know if I'll be able to get at this from the same angle. Alright. Come on. Yeah, I'm seeing it now. This tool is proving good. I'm bending the shite out of it, though. It wasn't meant for this kind of work. It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. I gotta say, the, this this head uh, flashlight, this forehead mounted flashlight, has proven super duper useful. Oh, shit, I'm bending the ever loving crap out of this. Uh, this one's a little bit thicker but not as thick as the other one. So let's try this one. It'll have a little bit more fortitude. And is this just sealed? Yeah, it is. They expect you to just... Yeah, so... This one is thickest. This is like moderate thickness. This is like thin, and this, is, this one here is thinnest. So with this one, this might be the perfect tool to get at it with. Um, because the other one's just kind of letting the plastic bend it. Whereas this one might have a little more strength. Now, where was I? Ugh, this is pain. Ooh, what did I do? I made it make a sound. Oh, there we go. I see. I think. It was at my father's recommendation that I got these dentist tools, so kudos to him. 
for that. Ooh, I was prying it. For fuck's damn, son. I, I'm prying the damn hook, but it ain't moving. Ugh, got it, damn. Holy shite. Like, I'm still bending the crap out of this. It's so difficult to work with. But, we made progress. One of the lenses is fully disconnected somehow. You can see that here in the webcam. So, um, this is the right side, is fully disconnected. Hoo-wee! <laughs> I'm just happy that we're making progress. All right, which means I got a hook over here to do dentistry, bent ass dentistry tools for the win. Maybe I should have been a dentist. Um, God, getting the light into this crevasse is proving to be quite. Maybe I don't even need the. Oh, I, I yeah, I got so many angles to work with now. I can. Come on. Come on, you piece of shit. I know some people complain about the language, but when you're doing this kind of work, it kind of keeps you going to, like, curse the uh, enemy. And I am uh, at least pleased that the damage to the Lycra is minimal. If I can get this thing reassembled, um, it will still be very serviceable. Oh, am I, am I a retard? My lord, I think I'm retarded. There's a clip right here that I didn't undo. I cannot believe how securely these clips are attached. Like, a plastic spudger? Man, like, you, I, I think I would need a much smaller spudger than what I got. That might be part of the problem. My spudgers are just too large. Um, but we're, we're getting there. Uh, come on. I wonder if I could poke this inward? No. Let's get the super thin one again. Now that I can see very well in here. Ah! Alright, one more to go. One more to go. This is coming out nicely. What an adventure. Alright. I'm going to tuck the pupillary distance in, if it will allow for it. Get. <laughs> I actually used one of these to scrape at my tooth a little. That was a very unpleasant feeling. Never again. Maybe I should leave that to the dentist to do. Dentist is pro. Any dent. Up. Oh. All right. Great. <laughs> Woo! We did it. It is off. Ugh. I am bird man. Man of bird. You will never know my secret identity. Ugh. Okay, I'm done. Back on with the glasses. Awesome, awesome. We'll turn this off for the moment. We might need this again. But here we have the innards. Um... You can adjust the pupillary distance on these quite a bit. My IPD is 62 centimeters, I think. Yeah, cool. You can see, like, there's a little square apparatus for each of them in here. You can see it moving. Very innovative. Very cool. So, at this point, I'm going to refill my beverage. And then we're going to continue even further uh, to try and see what might be wrong. So let me take a second and do just that. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So, you can see inside this thing, you can see what is probably the controller aboard. Um, it is up top here. You should be able to see it pretty well on the webcam view. Just uh, right here, this is it. I see a wire going to it here, but not anything on the left side. Now, I can't imagine a physical wire was displaced. 
Let's show it to the actual SL. Well, it's not technically an SLR, but this camera as well. It's not showing up as well because the lights are forward placed, but you guys saw it. Um, I'm already seeing one T3 screw, but we're going to go back to our Aussie friend and follow his guide. But from this angle, I'm not really seeing anything that sets off any uh, red flags. Cool. Speed him up a bit. He's a little... He takes his time. But I, don't, I doubt he'll ever watch this, but seriously, thank you, uh, Carlos Dominiax. Oh. It's already 1.5x. Jesus, Carlos. <sighs> um... Yeah, no apparent reason so far as to why this is failing. But we're making progress with the disassembly, so I feel really good about that. Mm. I can't believe it's almost midnight. Oh, there's just so much for me to do. Well, I need to work out. I wanted to start getting some house cleaning done. Okay, yeah, there are these little clips on the sides. They were really easy to deal with. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you love to munch on them. No, that's Pop-Tarts Crunch. Man, you keep eating that bullshit, you're gonna die, Wiley. I, I have to ask, the camera motion, like, if I go left to right like this, on my screen it looks like it's kind of choppy. Is it smooth or choppy on the... I could also watch the actual... No, it's choppy, alright. I'll figure that out later. See through the gap underneath there. I imagine I'm gonna have to pull this out right here, but I'm gonna wait and do it in the order he instructs. Yeah. Choppy on the main, smooth on the yeah. So it must just be a, a configuration setting that I've got. I have the um. It does look like I'm cross-eyed on here. Gabriel commented like, I didn't know you were cross-eyed. Like, actually, I'm not. It's just how I have this positioned or something. Like, if you look at me dead on, I'm not cross-eyed. And it's making me all self-conscious now. Um, all right, he takes his time. Pour it out of there. Pour it out of there. You, you had this. This whole video is just said, okay, here we go. It's loose now. It's loose now. All right, he pulled it off. At least it looks good on the main. I'm not sure why it's choppy though. I wonder if it's because I have it set to 60 FPS on the camera. I'm not going to mess with it. Yep. Oh, he shut off the clips really hardcore in this video. That's quite stretchy. Ye, quite stretchy. Three clips that I really tried to book up. The easiest um, side to get was probably the cable side, so do the left side first, because um, it was easier to separate or to bring this down than this side, because we've got the clean side up here. So. Yeah, so what's next, buddy? With, let's see. with this part here, what I'm going to have to look at is the main board. Yes, the main board. Which is up top. Whatever is pressure is being applied here, you can see the board is already flexing. Yeah, the board flexes really easily when you just do this. Disconnect. Oh? So we'll see. What I might do now is plug it back in to my computer as it is now and see if I can reproduce the exactly the fault. Alright, now I don't know if he had the same fault that I do, but I'm going to do what he's doing and try and plug it in and see if maybe flexing it will cause the display to turn on. I don't think it will, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Looks like a part for a Plague Doctor mask. Yeah, I was thinking something along those lines. So, this goes in like so. Right, right, don't make me look a fool. 
Wait, how? Maybe, maybe I'm a, a fool. Play everybody, play the fool. I'm a moron. Holy shite. I'm plugging in the wrong side like a freaking mook. Holy cow. Everyone, Kent just did it on cam. He's a fuck. What can I say? <laughs> I'm sitting there like plugging the actual HDMI cable into there like some type of freaking goof. If you get it working, you're gonna play Half Life Alex? Eventually. I mean, even if I don't get it working, maybe I'll get another HMD um, at some point. I'm not exactly eager to right now. Um, I was looking at, there's an HP one with really high resolution. It would be cool. Alright, is that plugged in or what? I, I didn't feel a nice, satisfying snap. But, no, that's correct. So let's, let's feel for the snap. Wow, that's the most unsatisfying feeling ever. Oh, there's the snap! <laughs> Head-mounted display, HMD. Alright, so we're going to plug this into my laptop. Let me run Oculus software just so we, uh... Because, yeah, it would be cool to see... Alright, it's still running. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, this was all on the right side. So, we'll plug in the USB and the shite. Here goes nothing. Alright, so it's got power, and we have one lens, just as before. One lens. So I'm going to flex it a bit. Flexing it is doing nothing. My problem is not at all the same as his. Um, you can see through the top, one lens is displaying. I'm flexing it. Nothing's happening. So, in spite of this, we're still going to keep going. Because, why not? We've made it this far. It's worth a shot. Thank you, Wiley, for being here. Appreciate it. Um, I, I knew turnout for this wasn't going to be good, considering how late I had to start. HMD makes more sense than... Yeah, it's not a heads-up display. Um, why can't I see a scroll bar on this damn chat window? Alright. So... We will proceed to the next video. Sad. I was really kind of hoping. I kind of figured it wouldn't, but I was just hoping that like maybe flexing it would cause something to happen. But I figured since I had no such issue before, I would have no such issue again. Alright. So. And see, we're on the board flexing it. Ah, oh, Phillips head screws. And guess what Kent doesn't have here at the table? A Phillips head screwdriver. So, let me go grab one. Hell's my problem. Oh, happy Wednesday, by the way. So, there are a bunch of Phillips head screws here. Let me just... Actually, they were better off this way. I'm just going to start removing them, and I can remove this cable as well. Luca has been being annoying. Um, I've taken her out a bunch of times, and she hasn't pooped. Continue on Terra Enigma. Yep, continuing on Terra Enigma. Hopefully, I will beat the bird boss without... Okay, this is a pain. Does this come with... Oh, she's getting ornery. I might need a smaller screwdriver than what I've got. Side frame here that hold basically this surround. Yeah, so yeah, okay, pressure. buddy. Well, this part of the headset as well. The screens and the lens surrounds can be separated from this. Okay. I need to actually go potty this time. Okay, buddy, we get it. Okay. 
Oh. Oh. So, the ones I'm supposed to remove are actually down here at the bottom. Okay. I mean, I'll give this guy credit. He's thorough. Yeah, alright, cool. Let me put my uh, head-mounted flashlight back on so I can see what I'm doing, and we'll pause him. Huh. Ugh. Yeah, I feel like I might need to grind a little in Terra Enigma to beat some bosses. I'm, I don't feel like I'm too great at that game, especially after they turned off easy mode. It's like, oh, okay, maybe I'm not all I thought I was. And actually, this is a little bit too big. This is going to be a little bit too small. I don't have the right size, so this will be okay. I just have to carefully. This might actually be a better... Because this screwdriver's thinner. So... Oh! Ha! Son of a mother. Damn it! Let me go grab a Phillips head bit for this one. Dang it. BRB again. All right, hopefully now we have everything we need to get this underway. I brought an extra screwdriver, brought a bunch of bits, and it is uh, rather a shame how disorganized my tool situation is. Always so much in life to do, you know? One day I'm going to get one of those awesome full-size toolboxes. They're not all that expensive, but it's just not been the highest thing on my priority list. I also need to copy what my friend did in Illinois, and uh, I have a pegboard on the wall so I can just write with marker, or even like if I don't want to write on it, I could use tape to write the sizes of my wrenches and hang them all from it. And would you know, wouldn't you know, this this one's too fat. This screwdriver, eh, no, I could get at it at an angle, I think. Cool. Now we are cooking with a fire. And I just need something with a magnet on it, so... I can be smart and uh, grab it maybe with this. Smart! And we'll use... Thing number two. And let's make sure this is actually... No, that's what he's doing. He's... Screwing these. If not, whatever. Hoo-wee! Got number two, and this time it's stuck. It's nice to have little jars for your gubbins. Oh, wow. That's already as out of the way as it's going to get. Mm, yeah, and this is a tight fit. But I've got it. I'm your Beavis. And once again, we will go in here with the Kaisi. Bam! That's how we do. I said... That's how we do. Let's get the chat window back open. Yeah, Terra Enigma's gonna take a while. I know I'm not that far in that game. Because we freed like five different, or seven continents. And I've done like one mission since then. I'm like almost at the end of the second one. So I imagine there are at least seven of those. And like I've barely unlocked any items. Ah! I have that one cloak from the girl that will hopefully soon get replaced by something less worthless. Yeah, these corner screws, my fat screwdriver is not liking. It would be nice if I had a more svelte one, but, you know, I probably actually do. No matter. I see. Boop. It is out. What has that enabled me to do? It would appear there are more screws to 
emancipate from this thing. So let's see what he does. Whoops. Yep, he's pulling out the four. He's got that nice thin screwdriver. He contemplates his angle of attack so thoroughly. Ha ha! He didn't get it out. Oh, now he did. Mm-hmm. Still something holding it on. What are we going to figure? Smaller ones right beside. Yep. Okay. I see what he, what we gotta do. I need, uh, I need yet another screwdriver. So let me go grab it. God damn. And I might even take the dog out because she's been waiting for a while. Might as well take this with me. So give me a couple minutes. Dang it. All right. So that took forever and a day. Luca has this horrible, horrible personality defect. When she wants to go potty and she needs to poop, she will spend ages going back and forth and back and forth looking for the perfect spot to drop her poops. And I just run out of patience with her sometimes because like, if, you, if you're spending so much time being so choosy, then you must not have to go that bad. Ugh. All right. God. All right. Let's work on this damn thing finally. Now that I can rest at ease knowing Luca is taken care of. That the appropriate the appropriate screwdriver for the job. I don't think this one is magnetized, but it matters not cuz we have Kaisi. And, wow, I didn't think I was going to use all of these, but here I am. Okay. You still here, Wiley? Or is it just me on my lonesome? God, being outside at night like that, just with, at the mercy of all the damn bugs. And as of recently, I've been, like, getting, like, now my feet itch. Like, how many bites did I get waiting for this stupid dog to find your perfect poopy spot? How much of it is in my head? Anyway. Yeah, I need to get some more twine for my edger. Because I am, oh, I guess this is magnetized. Maybe just a little. I'm, uh, yep, yeah, there's a bite on my pinky. I freaking hate you, Luca. Sometimes you annoy me. I'm going to spray myself with bug spray before I go outside to take my dog out to use the bathroom because she takes so long. Anyway, I was saying I need to get more twine for my edger because my edger is out of twine and there are portions of my backyard where shit's just getting out of hand. And you know what? I'm going to grab a Benadryl because screw this. I'm going to take two Benadryl. Ugh. Yeah, I got bites. I've got bites. Yay. At least the mosquito bites. All right, lovely thing about mosquito bites is that they only, for me at least, itch right at the beginning. So, they ain't no big deal. Unless I get some kind of sickness from it. Anyway, 
Let's proceed. We got those four screws out. <sighs> Bloody hell. That dog, though, back and forth and back and forth. Also, I love my damn camera. What an annoying spot for a bite. Like, you probably see, yep, the mark right there. Mark of the base. Depending on my face, doesn't look like it. Okay, so now he's pulling it off from the front. Alright, next video. Not that kind of sickness. Oh, it is coming loose. Two T3 torques on the bottom. I think I see them. All right, we'll do that. So easy enough. I'll put this back on. We have our T3 Torx screwdriver ready, and I see them right here at the bottom. And it's they're positioned in such a way that this does not easily fit in there, but we got it anyway. And since these are T3 Torx, just like all the other ones, I could put them in the same bin because they're the same thing. Oh, I got bites on both my feet. It feels like both my feetsies. Yep. Ooh, one got me right in the vein. Uh, the Benadryl will kick in in momentarily. Fucking dog. I, I'm not letting her poop at night anymore. I don't know. I need, I want to, like, one day, somehow, I have a bite up here, too. They got me good. Mosquitoes are supposed to be crepuscular, but if you piss them off at any time of night, they'll, they'll come out. All right, let's continue. Um, while you're doing that one, you can also undo for the lens slider. There's a T3 Torx holding the screen up. Oh, T3 Torx behind the length slider. I see it. We'll do it. And Ra is now being an asshole. Just never ending with these animals. Never friggin' ending. There is one other remedy I could apply to all these areas where I'm now itching and I'm considering doing it. Um, do I have a bite on my neck? I don't think I do. Vampires got me. What you do, and you gotta be careful, is you get a rag or a wet paper towel or a sponge Moisten that sucker. Put it in the fridge. Uh, fridge. Put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds so it gets hot to the touch. Apply it directly to the part that's itching. It will. You'll get a rather explosive sensation, but then the itch will go away. And you know what? I might just do that. Um, now I've wasted enough time. Unclip. All right, he's got his spudger back out. Okay, looks simple enough this time. So now we are unclipping the viewfinder thing right here from the actual not the the uh, pupillary adjustment from here. So we should be able to get under it. My spudger. Oh, huh, very carefully, it's done. Let's see if this comes out like that. It does. He's just got more finesse than me. Oh, oh. This is held in by springs. Oh, they are tiny, too. All right. For oh, he dropped them. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I have magnetism. I'm just magnetic. You can see the springs here if it focuses on them, which I think it will. 
kind of. I have to, the focal plane is tough to, yeah, you can see them. Cool. Um, I need to get another dish, and I guess while I'm at that, I'm going to stifle these bites. Give me a second. <sighs> I need another dish. Those are important. are gone. Oh. Well, I very nearly burned myself, but I got rid of all of my itches. Anyway. <sighs> A bad animal lance. What the hell? Anyway, got the two springs. Very tiny. Got the button. All in here, probably still too small to make much of anything from, but whatever. Those are done. Let's take a look at the stream. Still got two viewers, just me and Wiley. Lady Gaga, bad romance, I see. You should feel bad. Hi, Luca, you freaking jerk. Making me almost burn myself. It's amazing. How effective that is, though. Like, it, if you ever get a bite that itches like hell, try it. Just be careful not to burn yourself, but it will work. Okay. Mm. All right, so we have a Phillips head screw in between the sliders. Just gotta slide them apart. I do not, oh, I see, oh, wow. Getting a screwdriver in there is gonna be a pain in the dick. Okay. All right, let's try, let's try this. Anyway. Yeah, because it's not, like, coming off of it completely. It's still... Oh, that did it. Okay. You can always brute force it. <sighs> Again, this was broken before I even started, so it's not like we're... If we break it further, so friggin' be it. Try not to, but... What? Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Whatever will be. Will be. Another small screw. We'll go in with the other small screws. Same size as the rest. Got it. Let's let Mr. Aussie Dude get his shit done, too. That's just behind the right hand screen. Oops. And then up the top. The headset. Need to get the screwdriver. The Phillips head. Oh, is there one at the go down top? Between the Oh. Oh shit. Okay, wow. There's another screw that might be difficult to get to. I hope my screwdriver will be long enough. Luca is harassing Ra. And I kind of find that hilarious. Alright, trying to get eyes on this screw. I do, yes. He, he does a good job with the angles, too. Like, he held it, if you look at the webcam, kind of like this. So you could look back into it. Um, 
and that enabled me to see it from that same angle. So now I, I got an idea of what I'm going after. This guy's good. This guy is doing a good job. I mean, I criticize him a little bit for his speed, but it's because he's being thorough. Oh, and my screwdriver is long enough. Yes. I mean, I'm not really criticizing him for his speed. I'm just impatient. Okay. Got it. And I managed not to friggin' drop it. Amazing. The question, though, is... Well, oh, this one's completely different. I'll put it in with this. Alright. So we got that done. Glasses are getting smudged. Alright, so... Got that out of there. Harassment. <laughs> Cool. Why do I look so fucking cross-eyed with this camera? I really look cross-eyed. Yep, I see that. On with the next step. Plot twist. You always were. Nah, bro. Bad dog. She hates when I blow at her. Alright, so now he's actually pulling it apart. Looks like it should just pull apart after all the work we've done. Um, and, yeah, it's looking like it wants to come apart. I might involve my spudger here. inside of it. Luca! Don't be an asshole. This budger is not proving useful. Alright, let's see what he does. Now he just pulls it right off. Oh, there we go. Alright, we got ribbon cables. So let's take a break for a second and see if I can tell if anything is wrong. I think, okay, so this is the bottom, so this is the left. So I have it oriented properly. There are three ribbon cables here. Everything looks fine. There's a ribbon cable going to the left side here. Everything looks fine as far as I can tell. I don't see any burns. I don't see any screwed up traces. We're going to have to dig deeper, sadly. <sighs> Man, he's just laying his screws everywhere. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. No, they're there. Cool. Got more screws to unscrew right here on this bracket. It's T3 Torx. We will unscrew those now, as he is doing in the video. <clears throat> Luca's a dork. I cannot believe how long she took to poop. All right, it's not coming out. I broke it loose. Alright, this one's actually coming out. The magnet on this is pretty good. Alright, so let's try this again. Is it turning? Oh, help me God. I don't think it is. The rowers keep on rowing, and they certainly aren't showing any sign that they are slowing. Careful. Um, 
Come on, you. It feels like it. It feels like I um. I botched it. Fuck. Okay. Well, let's move up to T four. And just see if maybe. That ain't gonna work either. Oh, that might. Might. Yeah. I think I. I um. What is the word when you get rid of all the threads? The word is escaping me. I did that, though, I think. This thing is stuck. Wait, there we go. Stripped it. I think I stripped it. Huh, I wonder why, though. It's so small that it's difficult to tell. But the T4 got this one out. I'm going to lay this one in a spot right here in the KIEC case. Alright, and with that, this comes off. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alright. Okay, you sitting there examining it. He's going to take his spudger. I can't see what he's doing because he's obscured the camera. There we go. Oh, okay, he's pulling out the plugs. I can do the same. Um... Um, other side of this budget tool can't. One down, two down, three down. Those appear to have been connected, and this appears to be in pristine shape. If I show it up here, you can see the board, hopefully. Um, yeah, three connectors, three places where those little ribbon connectors went. And the board on top. Cross-threaded. Well, that's if you're with the threads. Oh, yeah, the infrared sensors are all right on here as well. You can see them inside if I turn it off. Come on, Kent, use your brains. There we go. Those little dots are the infrared sensors. I'm thinking we're not going to figure out what's going on with this. It doesn't look to be anything obvious. Alright, on to part six. Sorry about that. Okay, so... Here's the main unit. Mm-hmm. cables for the screens. That dial ribbon cables. Lenses. Yep, lenses moving. Okay, so we're going back to this board here with a T3, so let's put the T3 back on to my tool here. Since we had to go resort to a T4, we'll put the T4 back where it belongs, like a good manager of tools would do. Oh, yeah. All right, so... Um, yeah, we're basically taking these screws off of... The board there's one right here and one right here at the bottom I probably should have left autofocus on for the webcam no matter okay that's one damn these damn t3 screws to hell Although I have to say the hardest part so far was the clips for the lenses, for sure. That was the part with which I definitely had the most trouble and took the most time. 
Yeah, Benadryl is already kicking in. Um, does this come right off? Sure does. Feels like something else is attached, though. Let's wait and see what he does. No need to, no need to mess around. I wanted with this webcam to like do a over the top thing, but I had no way to. Would have been cool to just have like directly down to where I worked. Oh well. I'm kind of curious to see if my camera's doing all right. I mean, obviously it is, but like, I hear if you leave them on like this for a long time, they get really toasty. Oh. He used a little spudger to kind of dislodge it, but. I don't understand what what's keeping it in place. Oh, plastic. It feels so warbly. How the fuck did you do that? How the fuck? Oh, well, there's a connector here. Okay, got it. The little ribbon cable is connected right here. Uh, right here. Almost did not see that. Had to rip that sucker off. So we'll get with the spudger, kind of pull, and it's disconnected, and this is disconnected. So we now have this unplugged from here. All right. Good deal, good deal. We're making some real progress here. Wait, how did he get the board hanging like that? Hold up, hold up, I missed something. Yep, unclip the connector, pull that. Oh, it's supposed to just flop down. Mine ain't flopping, he just flopped it down. What the? Alright, I see why, there's a two screws here that I think he undid and he did not tell me about. So, looking for the appropriate screwdriver, which is this one. Yeah, this is preventing the flippy flop. We got one screw right here and another opposite it right over here. Right here, I think. I think. Me thinks, oh, up here, right there where my finger is. So, we'll get those done. And that should allow it to flop like he just did without telling us. I mean, maybe he did mention that step. If he did, I missed it. God, I have never, ever been good at this type of work. Like, in a class in high school, I think, we took apart printers. And when I put mine back together there was just so much shit left over I screwed that up so badly and it sucks cuz like you feel stupid when shit like that goes down like but at the, uh, you know, I can't really feel stupid um at the same time you know people have different aptitudes for different things so I try not to take it too harshly and just improve over time part of it was also just how disorganized and thoughtless I was like, I just saw screws, unscrewed them, didn't take notes of what I was doing, didn't put things in places like I am now, at least. And, like, yeah, reassembling this would be a daunting task, but I actually think I would be able to do it without a problem. Because I have different screws of different types sorted differently. I know where things go. I can reverse what I've done. Flippy floppy. Oh. Yes, sir. All right. He flopped it out, I flopped it out. So, main board is now a flippy floppy out here like this. We have a good eye on it. Take another look here. I don't see anything wrong. There's a little like mark on it, but that ain't shit. That ain't shit. This is so irritating though, like that it just out of nowhere decided to go foobar. I'm gonna take a small quick break and I'll be right the hell back. I'm also going to feel my camera, see if it's warm. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. I can't believe it's almost one. We've been at this for like almost three hours. All right. Again, Wiley, appreciate you being here. Just wanted to say that. So, let's continue. He's got the flippy floppy down. Looks like there's some more T3 screws. A whole bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, okay. So basically, all the T3 screws held holding this on come off. There's a whole bunch of them, so we'll start removing them. <sighs> you know, despite all the troubleshooting, I'm really glad. Even if we end up failing, which I kind of figured, I said at the beginning, prognosis is poor. But, like, I'm glad I finally got to this. And, like, once it's done, it will no longer be haunting me. It'll no longer be on my mind. And I'll know where I stand with VR. And while I won't get to play the new flight simulator in VR, it's not the end of the damn world. Honestly, a new headset probably isn't even going to be worth the investment to me, so I probably will just forego it. If I do get a new one, you know, providing I can't fix this, it ain't going to be an Oculus brand one, I can tell you that much. I kind of am, de you, depending on reviews, because the new version is coming out, I'm kind of partial to that HP one because so much resolution. And it's still got that 90 hertz refresh rate, which I think is the sweet spot, to be honest. The Valve Index does 120 up to 144, but I don't know. I don't think it's necessary. All right, this is still held on. Um... I see it like kind of clips here. Yep. I figured out something on my own. Or did I just break the shit out of it? Let's see what he does. I'm still gonna futz with it while he does that because I see another clip. Nope, I got it. Alright, but it's being held by a ribbon cable here. So left and right, and it's securely attached. I, I think we're at endgame here. I really do. We'll see what he does. Banana? What are you talking about? Oh, you must be eating one. Well, good for you. Bananas are healthy and full of potassium. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, like, the Canon came out with new cameras to not succeed mine, because mine's in a particular niche with how uh, relatively affordable it is. Oh. He's gonna un he did undid the proximity sensor screw. I'm not going to. I don't see a reason to. All right, so he's got he's where I am now. I'm just gonna use the spudger to remove these. And here's the board. Unplug this. And spudger for this. Other side can. And we have our main board. Every time you eat a banana, you think about how Donkey Kong must have felt seeing his empty banana horn. <laughs> Stupid. Alright. So I'm looking at this thing. I see literally nothing wrong. Nothing appears to me to be out of order. There are no broken traces. There is a slight white mark right here, but I don't think that's anything, and I don't know if you all can see it. Maybe if I... Come on, get off my face. Yeah, that, there, you can see it now on the main view. It's nothing. It's literally nothing. I don't know what else to look at or for. Um... The ribbon cables on either of these appear to be connected just fine. But I can pull this off now. I guess we could try and dig deeper, but it is, you know, I I think it's game set match here. I think we 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 fucked. Well, I guess the fucking thing's broke. Yeah, Joe Pesci. 
my cousin Vinny. Sliders right here. So that would measure what you've set the lens width to. So that has to be, when you reinstall it, that has to be positioned in here. So that when you move this, the screens, the position of the lenses, or the width of the lenses, IPD. Oh, yeah, I see what he's talking about. So basically, when, when, when you put it back, there's a little indentation right here. I'm actually just going to show it to the regular camera right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna do it. All right, well, right here, a little indentation where the uh, nub for this thing, you can see it poking out of the top there. It's not in focus, but you can see it. Where it goes so that it, it will actually slide these. That's all he's saying. That's about it. That's as far as I'm gonna pull it up. Uh, <sighs> and see if I can replay the solder on the board. Hopefully that'll fix my flexing disconnection issue. Oh, so he was going to re-solder it. He's going to re-solder it? Someone out there needs to tear apart the outlet switch. Let's see here. See if I need to remove these. It's just a case of Phillips. All right, so let's take a look. Since we've gotten this far, um, where does he say there's Phillips? Head screws. Once you get to this, this far. You say that. Let's just be very careful. Make sure everything's in place, and just do the reverse of the um, tear apart. So, thank you for watching these videos. Hopefully, it helps someone, and hopefully, this I'll put it back together. Everything works, and I'll fix my disconnect issues. All right. So, honestly. I guess we could try and take it apart some more because what have we to lose? I think it's fucked. I think we've lost everything, but let's just go all out. Why not? We're this far in. Um, but I think if there were an issue, I'd have already seen it. Um, let's look at this ribbon cable real quick. Because there are, like, pieces of electronics on the cable itself. Now... From where I'm standing, this is the left side, so I don't see anything wrong. It's a piece of marker. I, I really don't. I just, a little frustrating. I was hoping to see, like, maybe the ribbon cable got unplugged or anything, really. But nah. At least I got extra screws for shit now, I guess. Because I don't throw screws away. Does the defense's case hold water? Man, Benadryl's great. Fortunately, I'm not tired, so I don't have to worry about it adding to my tiredness. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. Cool. Just unscrewing everything I can because we can. Just trying to see if maybe within these lenses somewhere is an obvious defect that I could actually do something about. Fingers are not crossed. Everything is kind of going as expected. However, it ain't over till it's over, you know? That said, we will see. So I no longer have need for this YouTube window, because this guy's video is in it. You can watch over and over endlessly without ever getting tired of it. Such a great, such a great fucking chat scroll. Oh, hey, that's a good movie. Why didn't I throw you in here? All right, is anything else coming out?
I just am so sickened by the fact that I, I was, you know, I was in 2017 when I got this uh, Oculus. I was so thrilled and excited. I made a, real, a kind of boring video about, um, oh wow, there are some tiny screws up here. Already balls deep. But like, I was just so excited to finally have it because I had watched popular YouTubers play on VR like years before I even got to be lucky enough to try it at Best Buy and I was jealous of them. Like, wow, these guys just get to have the freaking VR. They got like the beta kits and everything. And then I got this and, you know, I used it a lot at first and then from time to time and then in 2018 my life turned topsy-turvy and I didn't have any chances to and you know it just sucks because I didn't get as much use out of this as I was hoping to I thought this thing was gonna last and it sucks too because it was not put through any sort of stress apart from that of the thermal variety I left it in a storage unit over winter and in an attic over summer in Georgia. But, like, that shouldn't fuck with anything in here. There's no reason that should have messed it up. I just... It's just so disappointing. And, and the lackluster response from Facebook slash Oculus, like, Oh, we'll give you a slight discount on a reefer because your one-year warranty is up. Like, such blatant and utter disregard for the investment I made in them. Alright, this is still attached somewhere, it feels like. It feels like it's attached right here. Oh, the screw's out. So I break something right now, so be it. I'm not good at this. Having trouble seeing any attachment point. But it definitely feels like it's at the top. Wait, 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 wait. Um. Oh, oh, oh. I see it. It was hidden. Holy shit. I wouldn't blame anyone for not seeing that. So, I, 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 you guys might not see it that well. On the webcam, there's this piece of black material. Flip it up, and there's a screw underneath it. I'm actually a little proud of myself for finding it. Oh, yeah, I could just... Yeah. Hidden screw. Never force anything. Just, like, there, I could have had so much more fun with this. And, like, part of VR's problem was that it wasn't a big lull, but if this stupid thing worked, I probably would have bought Half-Life Alex. so Valve lost out on some money, too, because of freaking Oculus. All right. So... Wowee, that's cool. Here's the front. Kind of cool. Not much to it. Uh, antennae for the... Uh, oh, and the... Uh, electronics for the infrared sensors you can see right here. Focusing is focused. Cool. Antennae for the controllers. Um, that's kind of neat. You can see the uh, gears for the... Uh, actual man this thing does not want to oh cool just do it like that see that gear turning all right honestly i don't see how much further i could dig down what kind of hmd would you get to fucking chat window replace it the HP one I was talking about, but that thing's expensive. I really, like, the best value would be to get the Oculus Rift S, because I just don't want to give them my money again. Not after this. I forget what the HP one is called. But, yeah, this is... There's nothing else I can do. This doesn't come out. This doesn't... Does this come off? It feels like... Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. How do I make this come off?
Oh my, this feels... So I'm, I'm, I'm unhooking the plastic here from this. You all can see. It feels like it wants to just come off. But there is a mechanism in the middle that I think prevents that. There is a metal bar going through this, so I don't... Okay, but... Um... There might be another hidden screw. I knew this was a fool's endeavor. I've manhandled this so friggin' much. I think I'm just bending this metal bar that keeps them to... Yeah, I'm breaking things. Well, HP, HP Reverb, yeah. The Reverb is the one I was... There's like a Reverb Mark II coming out, but maybe the, the Mark I will be like discounted or something, but... To be honest, I, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get anything. Well, that's that then. I've disassembled this to my utmost. I see nothing else fastening it on that I could undo. Um, and there is literally nothing that was apparently broken. Like, I, I saw nothing wrong with it. We saw its last gasps. It was, uh... You can see the damn marks from where I was clawing at it with, uh... That damn, uh... Dentist's tool. Huh? Anyway. We'll call it a stream. I kind of figured it wouldn't be... It wouldn't pan out, and it didn't. So I'm just gonna recycle all this. I could bring it to Micro Center one of these days and be like, here's some electronics to recycle, because nothing more to, to say or do about it. It's FUBAR. Um, yep. Yeah, I, I see literally nothing wrong with any of these electronics. Nothing I could fix. Nothing apparent. There's lots of little, I don't want to call them MOSFETs, but little pieces that I don't know the names of. All the traces look fine. What a waste. Anyway, thank you all for being here for it. I hope it was at least somewhat entertaining or educational, maybe, and it helped someone somehow, some way. But that's it for now. In the next video, we'll do something else. Wiley, thank you for being here as well. I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up and uh, get on with my life. So, yeah, see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Oh yeah, if I want to stop the stream, I have to get this out. Bye-bye. <laughs>